hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is timmy kemza james for our new and old subscribers you're welcome to today's tutorial where i'm going to be showing you how to make a beret hat so it's going to be a paneled beret guys so without further ado let's get into drafting so guys i'm going to be using a marking pen a pattern paper and then um a pattern master and you can use any ruler of your choice then a pair of scissors right so the first thing i'm going to be doing i'll be using the ruler part of my pattern master to draw uh, a horizontal line like so right so you can use any you don't have to use as much pattern paper because it's a very small project right so on that horizontal line, you draw a vertical line on the middle side of the horizontal line. Make sure that the line is as straight as possible, both the horizontal and the vertical line, right? So from that point, you're going to take um, the your head span. Now, the reason why I'm not showing you how to do that is because I don't want you to... It depends on how you want the cap to sit on your head. So that's how you take your measurement. So mine is measured 22 inches, right? So I'm going to divide that 22 inches by 7, right? Because I want 7 panels. If you want 8 panels, you divide it by 8. If you want 10 panels, you divide it by 10. If you want 6 panels, you divide it by 6. So whatever the number of panels you want, you divide it by that number of the panels. So I divided mine by 7 because I wanted 7 panels. Then I got 3.1 inch bar, right? So I'm going to divide that 3.1 inch by 2. Then I'll spread it across the the horizontal line using the the vertical line as a as the midpoint right so i'll be divide i'll be putting so i got 1.505 so i put 1.505 on one side and the other 1.505 on the other side then on the vertical line i marked eight inches right so the vertical line is eight inches long so and on the eight inch i'm marking five inch from the eight inch point i came down by five inch and that's what i marked so on the five inch uh inches point i'm going to draw another horizontal line across that point right so on that line i'm going to be marking 2.1 inch uh 2.6 inch on each side so it's going to give me a total of 5.2 inches now this totally depends on how wide or how um, narrow you want the cap to be but it should be bigger than that uh measurement you divided by seven that's your your head measurement right so i'm going to use my french curve side of my pattern master to sort of draw in um a line that looks like uh that looks more like a leaf shaped um i just want to build a shape that looks like a leaf right so that's what i'm going ahead to do so i'm going in to do the other side of it as well then i'm doing the lower part as well so by the time you're done you should have something that looks uh that looks like this like a leaf like this right so i'm going to be adding in half of an inch sewing allowance all around the panels right so i'm just going ahead to trace off half of an inch now this half of an inch is totally optional if you can work with three quarters of an inch is okay and if you feel you want like maybe a centimeter sewing allowance that's fine but just don't do more than half of an inch so that you don't get bulky so sort of like a bulky allowance inside of your cap except if you're willing to trim it off afterwards because even this half of an inch i'll be pressing it down when i'm done or i'll trim it off that's if i discover that is much right so if you can manage a smaller seam allowance do ensure to do a smaller one but i just left half inch just in case the cap is tight and i, and I might need to make adjustments for it to fit my head which it didn't even end up being tight it was fine so you can just go ahead and do the same thing now i'm done adding my seam allowance all around my pattern so i'm just going to grab my scissors and go ahead to cut out my pattern right 
after i'm done cutting out my pattern i'm going to cut out my fabric off camera then i'll come back to show you So now I've gone ahead to cut seven panels as you can see and I added hair stay which is the interfacing I prefer. If you want the cap ticker you can go ahead and add um, wording or any ticker interfacing and I'm going to sew two as a pair. So I'll sew two, I'll sew another two separately then I'll sew the last two then I'll pick one uh, notch, make notches around them. You should go ahead and iron at this point because it's easier to do that. But then, guys, I was lazy to iron, so I went ahead to sew all my panels together first. So you join all two together, then you join the last one as well. You can see. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the lining piece as I cut. I cut out the lining piece the exact same way, right? Now on that main piece, I left that little hole that you can see there, right? So at this point, I'm going to grab a little piece of fabric like so and I'll just hem it into a loop, a tiny loop where I'm going to be passing in between that, um, inside that hole that I left on the main fabric. But I did not leave that on the lining piece, right? You can go ahead and omit this step if you don't want um, the loop. That's sort of like that point you have on a barrette cap but i really do like it that's one of the reasons i love wearing barrettes a lot so i'm just going to sandwich it in between like so and then i'll go ahead and close that point off right so by the time i'm done i'm going to go ahead and iron all my um, panels i'll open press all of them right then i'll come back to show you so at this point i'm done and i've tucked in the lining so you can see this piece i cut it to be 23 inches long because my head is 24 and then it's 23 by 3 inches then i went ahead to add interfacing and then i folded it in half so i have um half of an inch by 23 inches right so i'm going to be sewing the one inch i'm going to use it to sew um the two ends together right so i'm sewing by half of an inch so at, when i'm done i'm going to have a total of 22 inches which is my head circumference right so by the time i i finish sewing that i'm just going to ensure that i fold back my fabric and then i'm going to sew it to my cap right so after I, I was done i just flipped my cap inside out and then i matched the wrong side of the lining to the wrong side of the lining now having the right side of the lining on the outer side of the cap and i sewed the lining down on the cap then i tucked in the band the headband for the cap and then i'm sewing the headband round so don't forget that the headband is folded i'm sewing it around when i'm done i went ahead to overlock my cap and that is it so guys this is the finished look of the beard sorry about my face guys this is what it looks like you can see so you can style it any style you want right so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, guys. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I have a new video up on the channel, guys. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.